lamb usually is under a year old and then you've got hogget which is over a year old to two years old and after two years old it becomes mutton and we specialise in the herdrick sheep breed. They're living in a very natural environment, they're living off mixed grass and heather, what they're designed to eat. A lot of meat nowadays is fairly intensively reared indoors on cereals so it's quite unusual to get something that's practically wild and we discovered that this produced this most exceptional quality meat but mutton's a product that's gone out of fashion a little bit. People don't really know how to cook it or get hold of it. Sheep used to be farmed for wool rather than meat, and the meat was almost like a byproduct towards the end of the sheep's life. So mutton was what was always eaten, really, up until the Second World War. And because it was badly reared, it's got this stigma attached to it now, which means people think it's knackered out at the end of its life. Bye. But good mutton that's reared well on grass and it's hung properly, I think it can beat lamb any day. You don't breed from the sheep until they're nearly three years old. And because it's this more wild animal, it only has one lamb. And that all adds up to, you know, a, a, an animal that's not very commercially viable in other areas, but just perfect for this type of environment. And an incredibly unique flavour, which is why Herdwick mutton particularly is such an exceptionally rare and exclusive product when it's done well.